ladies and gentlemen, good afternoon or good evening. Uh, welcome uh, for all of you. I would like to welcome all of you in our uh, sixth lecture. And today's lecture will be uh, on the third unit. Okay, we'll start unit three. Uh, and we finish the reading passage and the words and idioms list right after the reading passage. Okay. Okay. As you see, page number one, sort of a picture or illustration on the, with the title of unit three. Okay. Unit three, a perfect job. Okay. And this is another story, a third story. Uh, in this textbook, it's about, you know, an old woman, you know, she's a grandmother of a young, you know, boy or girl, we don't know, the storyteller. And here the storyteller or the narrator is trying to please his grandmother by doing a good job or a perfect job and then getting some money from her for what he is doing for her in her house. Okay, we start together the reading passage on page 35. Okay, this is unit one. The reading passage, a perfect job. I read to you the text. Okay? Or please, if you can, you read with me. I hope it's clear on the screen. Okay? A perfect job. My job was to help Granny. That means his grandmother or her grandmother, Granny. Every Saturday morning, usually about 10 o'clock, I rode my bicycle the mile to her house. I knocked on her door and waited. She opened the door and I went in. First, I had a little breakfast with her. Usually sweet cinnamon rolls and milk. She always asked about my mother and father and brothers and sisters. Then the work started. I went to the basement and got out the broom, the mop, the bucket, and clean rag rags. And clean rags. Granny had a big closet full of cleaning supplies. My job was to clean her big house. It would Granny had a big closet full of cleaning supplies. My job was to clean her big house. It would usually take me two or three hours. I could hear Granny going out and about. She was always a busy woman. A granny liked it when I started upstairs. So I always started with the three bedrooms. With her big powerful vacuum cleaner, I swept the big rugs. Next I used a string mop with a nice smelling oil on it to clean the wood floors. With a damp rag and some mild soap, I wiped the window sills. I changed the sheets on her bed too. She slept in a small room and it was easy to clean that room. I used the mop to get dust from under her bed. Sometimes I found socks and slippers under there too. Another job upstairs was to clean the bathroom. I used a cleaning powder on the bathtub and a wash basin and a brush on the toilet. 
I wash the linoleum floor with pine scented water. That made the bathroom smell clean and fresh. I had to empty the water, the waste baskets and carry the trash outside. I also had to take the bathroom rugs downstairs to be washed in the big old washing machine. I put a fresh one from the closet on the clean floor. Next page. Line 30, page 36. On the main floor of the house there were two rooms. The kitchen was large and airy. There were big windows and granny kept it very clean. However, my job was to wipe the surface of everything. The stove, the cupboards, the table, and the chairs. She wanted her kitchen to sparkle. I had to use clean cloths and change the water many times. A granny loved a clean kitchen. There was a pantry of the kitchen. It was filled with lots of cans of food and bags of vegetables, like potatoes. A granny put a lot of stuff into the pantry. I had to clean it every week. I didn't like that pantry very much. The living room and dining room were one big rooms, okay, so we have one big room with an arch between them. I vacuumed the rugs every week. I took the soft dust cloth and wiped the week's uh, acc accumulation of dust from the piano, the china closet, the bookcases, and the little tables. Sometimes I even shock out the beautiful Persian shawl on the piano. The last job was to sweep the porches. There was one on the front of the house and one on the back. I really didn't like those porches because sometimes I would see spiders and I was afraid of spiders. Sometimes I skip the porches. I would fluff up the cushions and sweep just the doorways. Every week, when I had finished, Granny would give me something from her little blue money purse. First, we would walk through her house and she would note the things I had done well. I remember that one day she noticed the clean mirrors. I had polished them that day. Another day, next page, page 37, another day she noticed that I had really swept the porches. Some days she would say, not bad, and she would give me a dollar. Once in a while, she would say, good enough, and she would give me two dollars. One day, she gave me four dollars. It was the day I washed the windows with ammonia water and the newspapers. She said, today you did a pretty good job. I was suddenly interested. I asked, Granny? What is a perfect job worth? A perfect job, she said, a perfect job is worth ten dollars. And she went to her big old refrigerator for the chocolate milk. She knew that I loved chocolate milk. There was always a glass of chocolate milk for me at the end of my work on Saturday. The next Saturday, I got up at 7 in the morning. 
I was at Granny's house before eight o'clock. I took furniture, I took furniture polish, floor oil, and ammonia upstairs with me. And I began to fast. Sorry, I began to work fast. I washed the windows and the mirrors. I opened a window and shook out the small rugs. I vacuumed and polished. I dusted and wiped. I washed the floor in the bathroom twice. Then I put some polish on it. And it shone. After I emptied the trash, I even washed out the, uh, the waste paper baskets. I even washed out the waste baskets. I could hear Granny coming in and going out downstairs. In the kitchen, I scrubbed the floor. I cleaned the stove inside and outside. A granny had gone to the store, so I took the silverware out of the drawers and washed out the drawers. I took everything out of the pantry. I scrubbed the shelves and washed the floor really well. When the shelves were dry, I straightened the cans on the shelves too. I arranged the pots and pans and I scrubbed the kitchen sink. I even scrubbed the area under the kitchen sink. Next, here we talk about next page. Okay, next page. Next, I attacked the living room with great energy. I took the cushions from the sofa outside and beat them. Clouds of dust rose from them. I used an attachment on the vacuum cleaner to get them really clean. I polished the piano with, fur with furniture polish. Then I did the same for the dining table and the chairs. I even polished the legs of the table. I straightened the books on the shelves of the bookcases. Then I made the porches shine and I washed the windows there too. It was past five o'clock when I finished. The house smelled clean and it looked clean too. I found the granny outside. She was looking at her flowers. I'm finished granny, I said. I really needed the chocolate milk. She stopped in the kitchen, opened the refrigerator and took out the milk. She put a plate of my favorite cookies on the table too. Let's walk through the house first, she said with a smile. I knew that she was pleased. She smiled when she looked into the bathroom. It shines, she said. She noted that I had dusted everything in the bedroom, even the bottles on the bureau. She commented on the bathroom floor and the floors of the porches. She stopped to play a few notes on the piano. She looked under the dining room table. She could see how clean everything was. Child, she said, today you have done a perfect job. Okay, this is the reading passage. Uh, I hope it's clear. Uh, there are, you know, uh, words and the words and list uh, and idioms list. Here we read them together on the next page, page 39. And I'll try to give some of them in Arabic if they are really uh, difficult for you. Okay, we start with. Uh, 
word or item number one. There is here a suggestion that says, if you know the word before you come to it in, in this reading, just put a tick. That means that you know this word from before. Okay? From other sources. يعني بس مجرد للملاحظة إنه إذا كان الطالب بعرف هاي الكلمة من قبل حط جنبها تك يعني إنه هاي بعرفها من قبل إذا ما بتعرفها تركها بس this is just يعني sort of a, a test for you to know what يعني new words that you uh, learn in this reading passage okay so number one an accumulation an accumulation it's a noun of course من accumulate is the verb accumulation which means what an increase of something over time okay اللي هو يعني التجمع مثلا الغبار على بعض البعض مع مرور الزمن okay يعني بسميه يعني بالعربي التراكم تراكم الغبار طبعا ممكن تستخدم تراكم الغبار او تراكم اي شيء ثاني accumulation okay to accumulate تراكم شيء على شيء مع مرور الزمن اللي هو زيادة okay accumulation airy full of air يعني with good ventilation airy يعني مهوى جيدا يدخل الهواء بشكل يعني ممتاز ammonia okay this is an uncount now this is اللي هو sort of a chemical it's a chemical مادة كيميائية أو مادة كيماوية Okay, معروفة للأمونيا تستخدم في كثير من مساحيق التنظيف في البيوت اللي هي NH4 A bad smelling cleaning liquid that dissolves grease grease اللي هو إيش؟ الشحوم إذا هي عبارة عن مادة كيماوية تستخدم في المطابخ لتذويب الشحوم to dissolve that dissolves grease dissolves and to ذيب to ذيب grease اللي هي الشحوم هذه مادة الأمونيا Four, an arch, an arch, okay, arch. Lo ish, lo al qos, arch. A curved doorway, usually without a door, okay. Al qos, okay. Or the shape of the qos, bab, okay. For example, bab qos, or on the shape of the qos. Five, attachment, or an attachment. من attach الفعل attachment noun اللي هو extra piece extra piece attachment اللي هو الشيء الزيادة اللي يضع زيادة على شيء اللي هو بسموه برضو ملحق إضافة six to attack طبعا بتكلم عن سوري back to five attachment حسب التكست الموجود اللي هو إيش قلنا extra piece اللي هو هو عمل attachment للفاكيوم كلينر وصل المكنسه الكهربائيه وصلها بقطعه، هذه القطعه اللي وصلها عشان يعمل حاجات اضافيه في التنظيف هذا نسميه ايش؟ اتاتشمنت اللي هو قطعه اضيفت على المكنسه لتطويلها او لتنظيف بعض الاماكن، اوكي هذه نسميها اتاتشمنت، اوكي؟ 6 تو اتاك اوكي تو اتاك هون هذا من الايديومز مرت معنا تو اتاك To fight against here to begin to work with the great energy. لأنه قال إنه في القطعة بقول he attacked the living room. Okay. هم معنى إيش يعني attack؟ مش معنى هاجم. معنى هون إنه بدأ العمل بجد ونشاط وبقوة. يعني زي ما بقول يعني هاجم ال 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 الأوساخ أو الغبار في المنزل هجوم هاجم عليها. Okay. يعني معنى إنه بدأ هذا العمل بجد و ب ب ب ب بنشاط كبير. Attack to fight against. هو مع معنى إيش يقول to begin to work with the great energy and enthusiasm. Enthusiasm يعني بحماس. Enthusiasm. A bureau, a bureau اللي هو a large piece of furniture that is used to store clothing in drawers. Okay, bureau اللي هو عبارة عن ال زي خزانة صغيرة، okay؟ خزانة صغيرة مع جو مع أدراج أو جوارير مع أدراج، okay؟ توضع فيها عادة يعني للتخزين ملابس أو أحذية أو whatever. Bureau. 
Eight, a china closet, pardon, noun, ism, a china closet, a large piece of furniture, usually with fancy glass doors in which dishes and glasses are kept. China closet. يعني closet طبعا هي اللي عبارة عن خزانة. China closet هنا برضو عبارة عن تعبير مصطلح يستخدم زي ما نسميه بالبيو بالبيوت شو بيقولوا اللي هو البوفيه. عادة البوفيه بيكون في غرف الجلوس في غرف الصالون في غرف الج محلات اللي هي بتكون ظاهرة لل للضيوف في في الصالات في البيوت بتكون نوع مميز من الخزانة. يعني شكلها حلو أنيق وفيها بعض التحف والأشياء اللي هي يعني تبرز جمال هذا أو هي بنفسها بتكون جميلة هذه الخزانة يعني زي البوفي عبارة عن خزانة كبيرة جميلة فيها ديكور نقوش وزجاج okay. اللي هو China Closet 9 Cinnamon 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 هو spice used in making sweet breads and rolls Okay. Cinnamon اللي هو بسموه بالعربي القرفة okay. القرفة Cinnamon Cinnamon Rolls okay. هذا ما وجود اللي هو اللي بروحه في, في, في بعض المحلات في, في المولز موجود هناك اللي هو Cinnamon محلات Cinnamon okay. اللي هي بيبيعوا هذا الرولز اللي هي عبارة عن الكيكة الملفوفة أو بتيجي على شكل زي زي الخبزة تبع الهامبرجر بس بشكل ملفوف عجينة ملفوفة ويكون مدهونة ومحشية في مادة في في القرفة هذا التوابل كي طبعا مع العسل وكي السينما كي السينما نمر ناين تن to comment on to give an opinion about to comment on comment on. يعني يعلق على شيء يعني يعطي رأي في شيء to comment on a cushion hard pillow cushion اللي هو زي الوسادة okay. الوسادة اللي بتكون قاسي شوية ثقيلة okay. اللي بتكون موجودين على مثلا الكنب هذه cushions okay. أو على الأسرة لل... ك... ك... كديكور okay. cushions dam 12 dam slightly wet شيء المرطب Okay. في شوية رطوبة أو في شوية مي okay. يعني لو قطعة من القماش في عليها شوية مي ونشوف نقول دام دام يعني ويت الإسلاط لويت مرطبة 13 أدروار أدروار برضو هذا اسم اللي هو اسم اللي هو A box with, a, with handles that is pulled out of a disc or bureau used in for storing things اللي هو إيش الدرج أو الأدراج dust اللي هي طبعا non count now اللي هي tiny particles in the air that collect on the top of furniture dust اللي هو الغبار 15 dust 14 15 ok next page here 15 14 dust ok we are now on page 40 14 dust 15 to fluff up to fluff up to cause to become large by adding air to the inside of to fluff to cause to become large يعني ينفش ينفخ شيء بحيث يجعله كبير الحجم بالسماح للهواء الدخول إله داخله to fluff up Linoleum, برضو هذه sixteen, sixteen linoleum, non count noun, a rubber or plastic floor covering that can be colored or patterned used for kitchen floors. كل هي المادة اللي تستخدم في تغطية أرضيات المطبخ. Okay, عادة تكون مصنوعة من ال من المطاط rubber أو plastic أو اللي هو مادة ال plastic. ويكون عليها ديكورات وأشكال نماذج يعني تعطي منظر حلو لأرضية المطبخ for kitchen floors لأرضيات المطبخ تستخدم 17 a mop a mop a cleaning tool on a stick used to wash 
or remove dust from floors كي الموب كي اللي هي أداة التنظيف اللي يكون على موجود في على تكون في في عصاية ما حطوط على عصاية طويلة كي و للتنظيف الغبار تستعمل كي أداة لتنظيف الغبار بتكون موجودة على عصا طويلة مثبتة على عصا طويلة موب موب 18 a pantry برضو نعم a pantry a small room for storage of kitchen of kitchen things and food okay a small room for storage of kitchen things and food اللي عادة زي أداة بسموها في بعض البيوت سموها زي بيت المونة أو البيت الخاص عفوا أو غرفة خاصة صغيرة بتكون لوضع حاجات المطبخ خصوصا الأكل والمعلبات و اوكي غرفة تلحق في المطبخ أو تكون قريبة من المطبخ اوكي لوضع حاجيات اللي خاصة في المطبخ من أكل ومعلبات وإلى آخره pantry 19 perfect adjective يعني يعني say perfect يعني excellent not having any weak points or mistakes perfect يعني شيء تام كامل مئة بالمئة perfect يعني شغل تمام okay ما في أي عيوب لما نتكلم عن شيء perfect job يعني job with no weakness or mistakes Twenty to play a few notes. يعني to try to play a musical instrument. لأنه هو ال ال الجد هلا لما راحت يتفقد ال البيت بعد ما نظفه فوقفت عند البيانو شو عملت play إيش a few notes عزفت بعض المقطوعات وهي قاعدة تلاحظ أو تراقب الشغل to try to play يعزف يعني play a musical instrument يعني على آلة موسيقية. Twenty-one to polish something. To polish something, يعني إيش اللي هو تلميع شيء. اللي هو to use an oil or other liquid to make something like furniture shine. Twenty-two a porch, a long room, usually not heated in winter, on the front or back of a house. Some porches have windows and screens; others are open. Porches, اللي هو عادة تكون اللي هو الملحق في البيت بيكون زي البرندة زي البلكونة يكون في مقا في أم في أم في ال في الجهة المقدمة من البيت يعني أمام البيت أو خلف البيت، أوكي؟ زي بلكونة أو زي جلسة بتكون ملحقة مع البيت زي بلكونة، بعضنا بيكون مغطى بعضنا بيكون غير مغطى، يكون مفتوح، أوكي؟ بورتش <تصفيق> يعني زي برندة مثلا، أوكي؟ Twenty-three pots and pans. Pots and pans is metal containers in which foods are cooked. Okay, the the tanager and the and the 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 الأدوات اللي يطبخ فيها ويغلى فيها المية في ال أو السوائل يعني بشكل عام في المطبخ متل كونتينرز اللي هي الأوعية المعدنية اللي تستخدم في المطبخ المطابخ 24 راجز هون بلورال نام يعني تستخدم دائما بشكلها هذا اللي هو في الجمع للتعبير عن إيش اللي إيش اللي هو pieces of cloth used for cleaning لازم نسميه بالعربي الخرقة كي الخرق من القماش اللي تستخدم للتنظيف راجز غير راجز هذه راجز اوكي راجز 25 تو سكراب اوكي تو سكراب يعني تو كلين وذ برش هنا يعني سكراب تنظيف لكن ايش نوع التنظيف؟ تنظيف مع استعمال الفرشاة اوكي فرشاة سكراب سكراب تو كلين وذ برش 26 تو شيك اوت تو هولد اون تو ون ايدج اوف ا كلوث Or rug and move it up and down to remove dust and dirt. 
تو شيك اوت اوكي تو شيك اوت يعني مثلا في عندنا عايزين مثلا زي ننفض بطانيه او الحاف من الغبره او شيء شو بنقول؟ تو شيك ات اوت تو شيك ات اوت يعني نمسكه ها ذس از ا نابكن ونقول شيكينج اوت اوكي ذس نابكن او ذس تشو اوكي تو جيت ريد اوف ذا دست اوكي تو شيك اوت 27 شول A triangle of cloth used to keep one's shoulders warm. Shawl. اللي هو بالعربي هو طبعا مش بالعربي لكن من المتعارف عليه هو الشال. لكن نقول في الانجليزي نقول نرفضه شول. شول لان هي الاصل الكلمه ايش؟ فارسيه. Persian. ماخوذه من الفارسيه، فارسي يقولوا عنه شال وهو في العربي عاده يقال يقال عنه شال. اوكي؟ okay. لهذه القطعه اللي توضع على الراس. اوكي؟ okay. بتغطي الراس او مرات توضع على للزينه في بعض في بعض البيوت تحت يعني على بعض قطع الاثاث اوكي شول شول از تراينجل كلوث حسب وين تعرفها تراينجل اوف كلوث قطعه قماش مثلثه برضه في بلادها بسموها زي الاشار اوكي 28 a sheet noun a large cotton piece of cloth put over the bed sheet لو نسميه الشرشف اللي يوضع على السره اوكي to protect the mattress and the area under the blankets mattress اللي هي المخل... الفرشه blankets اللي البطانيه 29 to shine هذا verb one to shine يعني to make it shine To make it sparkle, يعني to reflect light, يعني يجعل يشع. الماضي منها shown past. Thirty silverware. Silverware هو يعني كلمة تعبر عن طبعا غير لا غير معدود اسم غير معدود يعني non count noun. ليش لأنه يشمل مجموعة أشياء هذا السيلفر السيلفرware السيلفرware اللي إيش اللي هي knives, forks and spoons used for eating and serving food. هذه الاشياء اللي نستخدمها في الاكل اللي هي المعالق الشوك السكاكين ها أه مع بعضها شو بنسميها؟ لها اسم واحد اللي هي سيلفر وير سيلفر وير في بعض الناس يسموها اللي هو الفضيات مثلا اوكي؟ لا فالمقصود في ايش؟ اللي هي السيلفر وير اللي هو اللي هي معالق شوك سكاكين اللي بتستخدم للاكل 31 تو سباركل يعني تو شاين بيكوز اوف بينج كلين نفس معنى اللي هي قبل 29 اللي هي شاين فعل يعني يلمع شيء يجعله يشع 32 a spider اسم اللي هو an eight legged insect عباره عن يعني حشره لها ثمانيه ارجل makes webs اللي هو معروف عنه اللي هو السبايدر اللي هو العنكبوت اللي بيعمل ويبس اللي بيعمل هاي الشبكات اللي هو البيت البيت مكون من شبكه 33 to straighten يعني to put in order to straighten to put in order لانه هو يعني جزء من شغله في البيت تبع جدته انه في الكتب في المطبخ تبع غرفه المطبخ في اشياء مش محطوطه بشكل ف to straighten يحط الاشياء بشكلها الصحيح اوكي okay. okay. يعني يرتب الاشياء فتح غرفه ال المطبخ الصغيرة هاي اللي هي الملحقة بالمطبخ وجد فيها مثلا العلب او معلبات ما هي مثلا بشكل رتبها ستريتن ترتيب الكتب في محلها على الرف بدل ما هي مايلة ما 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 مش بشكل صح عملها وضعها وضعها بشكل صحيح رتبها يعني ستريتن رتبها بشكل الصحيح ستريتن يعني يسويها تو بوت ان اوردر 34 تو سويب يعني to clean dirt from a floor with a broom. شو اللي هو التكنيس with a broom. يعني التكنيس باستخدام المكنسة أو استخدام الفاكيوم كلينر المكنسة الكهربائية to sweep. 35 trash اللي هو الجاربج اللي هو أكرمكم الله الزبالة أو القمامة أو الفضلات things to throw away. 36 to vacuum. اللي هو to clean with an electric machine that sucks in air and dust to vacuum هذا الفعل 
التنظيف في المكنسه الكهرباء شو بنسميه؟ فاكيومين اللي هو تشفيط يعني شفط الغبار باستخدام ايش؟ الهواء معاه، اوكي؟ فاكيوم. اوش بيسن اللي هو الباثروم سينك اللي هو الحوض تبع الحوض تبع التغسيل في المطبخ او في الحمام، اوكي؟ الحوض اللي هو باثروم سينك الموجود في الباثروم او في with a faucet and drain for water to escape. 38 a window sill اسم window sill هو a piece of wood at the bottom of a window frame الويندو سيل هو القطعه الموجوده في اسفل قطعه الخشب الموجوده في اسفل الشباك اوكي okay. يعني يرتكز عليها الشباك يكون يعني طالع هيك شوي لبرا to wipe الفعل to wipe اللي ايش to use a cloth to clean the surface of okay. of يعني any any surface to clean a surface to wipe Okay. اللي هي تنظيف باستخدام قطعة قماش. Okay. That is you know, the list of the words and idioms. Okay. I hope they are clear. Let's do together next exercise اللي هو understanding sequence and this is يعني something easy and depends on your understanding to the events. Okay, of the story that you have just read, the perfect job. Uh, for the exams, of course, such uh, exercises will not be يعني, very important. Okay, they will not be important because the exam uh, questions will be all multiple choice questions. But you have to يعني, try doing these exercises, even if they are not important for the exam, just to help you to understand the story because the stories or the reading passages are important for the uh, final exam because two of them will be uh, literally taken from the book and used in the final exam so at least for يعني, so you have to do these exercises understanding sequence just to know more about the story ok uh, number one here we have number one is done for you number F what happened first number F okay on uh, Saturday on Saturday uh, morning I woke up early okay, understanding uh, sequence lower page 41 okay the first one is done for you you are number F as one on a Saturday morning I woke up early to go to a granny's house and what is number two is is possibly B okay B uh, I rode my bicycle to granny's house what could be number three please you take the answers okay and make sure that you understand them I don't have your own access to the uh, pen or to the marker to write on the screen, okay. So number three is number C. Number C is number three. A granny and I had a little breakfast together, okay. What is number four? Four is number A. I had a glass of chocolate milk and went home, okay. And what is number five? Five is number E. Lower. I started cleaning upstairs. I started cleaning upstairs. And that is, uh, what about number six? Six is number, uh, here, number G. Six is number G on page 42. And then number seven is number H. Lower. the living room and the dining room where next okay and then number eight is number D number eight is number G it was necessary to clean the porches okay and that is line 55 okay then we go to the next exercise which is uh, one of the most important exercises for you to know and to uh, make to make sure that you understand the questions and the answers the answers are here for you i put them 
uh, on the screen, okay, answering questions about the story. Okay, uh, these are you know what they call or uh, what uh, you know they call you know content questions or WH questions. Okay, uh, of course, answering these questions correctly uh, reflect you know uh, your understanding to the story. Okay. Questions like this are very important also uh, in the final exam or in the e exams. Okay, you will be given questions like this with with four, you know, uh, choices as answers, and then you choose the right answer. But you will not be asked to write answers in the exam. Okay, in the exam, these questions will be uh, put in a multiple choice form. Okay, we go to number one. Okay. How did, how did the storyteller get to Granny's house? How did the storytellers get to Granny's house? Taban by bicycle, and that is line two. Okay, here this is for line L two, يعني line two, where you can find the answer. Just to help you more, uh, I give. Uh, uh, I give here the answer and the line where you can find the answer. Some answers may not have, you know, line numbers. That means they have to be taken from different places. Okay. Number two, why did the granny need help? Okay. On Saturdays. Why? Of course, to clean the big house. How to clean her big house. And that is line 11. Number three, how was the oil put on the wood floors? How? With a string mop. يعني by using a string mop. استخدام أداة التنظيف هاي اللي هي اللي عليها ال ال الخيوط كي عش ال عشاك الخيوط. Okay. مع العصاية الطويلة. That is line on line sixteen. Line sixteen. Number four. Where were sorry? Where are things kept in a kitchen? يعني the place where people keep things in a kitchen. طبعا in a place that is called what? اللي هو pantry إذن in the pantry in the pantry pantry you find the word pantry on line thirty nine five where was the washing machine okay it was downstairs it was downstairs six what did granny always notice what did granny always notice six she noticed how the storyteller cleaned the house okay. Seven. How did the granny show that she was happy with a with the cleaning job by giving money and saying not bad? She said, yeah, and a lot of things, but she was everything. She was happy. She used to give money, a dollar, two dollars, three dollars, and it depends on the yeah, any kind of job the storyteller performs, okay, or achieves. Eight. What is in a silverware drawer, شو كان موجود في الدرج؟ okay تبع ال silverware تبع ال الشيء اللي بسموه قلنا الفضيات اللي هي okay what okay طبعا it it is okay that's number eight what is a silverware drawer what is it شو تعريفه؟ يعني define it's a drawer for knives forks and spoons what is in a silver drawer, okay, there are. Uh, it is a, a drawer for knives, forks, and spoons. Ah, we can go. The one. What is in a silver drawer? We can forks, knives, and spoons. Bas fi kafi. We do man go. It is a drawer for. Ah, bas we can go. Knives, forks, and spoons. That's enough. Nine. What cleaning supplies did the storyteller use? Okay, what cleaning supplies did the storyteller use? شو استخدم أدوات تنظيف اللي هو الشاب اللي أو البنت أو الولد اللي نظف البيت؟ طبعاً استخدم عدة أشياء. Furniture polish هذا واحد. Floor oil two. Pan scented water three. And ammonia four. Okay, إذا في عنا أكثر من شغلة. Furniture polish, floor oil, pan scented water, and ammonia. سؤال أخير What did the storyteller use rags for? ليش استخدم خرق القماش عشان شو يساوي? To wipe the window sills 
لتنظيف ايش؟ الويندوز سيلز، شو الويندوز سيلز؟ اللي هو هذه القطعه الموجوده من الخشب الموجوده في اسفل واللي يستند عليها الشباك. النكست اكسرسايز نكست نكست اكسرسايز بيج 42 اللي هو ترو فولس اوكي طبعا ترو فولس ممكن يجي برضه في الامتحان مايت بيوز ان ذا اكزامز بات ات ويل بي ان اولسو مالتيبل تشويس فورم يعني نحط مثلا الجمله مثلا جراني لافد هير جراند تشايلد نحط A ترو و B فولس فانت بتختار A او B يعني ترو او فولس اوكي برضه هذا ذيس اكسرسايز ديبيندز اون يور اندرستاندينج to the story so you need to read the story and then uh, you can judge whether this item is true or false okay then لابد من القراءة للقطعة أو القصة عشان نقدر نحكم على هذه الجمل صح أو خطأ true or false okay the true false statements are not easy don't think of them as easy okay so you have to read every item very carefully very carefully okay number one Number one, اللي هو a granny, a granny loved her child. True. Two, a granny wanted to help her grandchild learn to be a good worker. I think it's true. Three, a granny didn't like to work. Huh? A granny didn't like to work. No, this is false. And you can check, you know, line thirteen. False. Four, a granny spent a lot of time in her bedroom. False, because she's an she's an active woman. Five, a granny spent a lot of time in her pantry. False, because you can't spend uh, uh, a lot of time in the pantry because it's a small room uh, for you know things of the kitchen. Six, a granny spent a lot of time in her kitchen. Yani, uh, that is also something you can't be sure about. But I think it's uh, false because she's an active one. But she, she's also doing a lot of, I mean, she uh, make a lot of things, you know, like uh, sweet rolls and uh, hot chocolate or chocolate. So, but I think it doesn't say in the passage that, you know, she spends a lot of time. So I think six is false, okay? I think it's false. Seven, a granny played the piano. True. Eight, a granny never read books. False. Nine, a granny likes chocolate milk. This is also something we can't judge on. We can't, yeah, and there is not uh, a direct, exact, definite answer. But we can judge, you know, from the reading. But we can say false because she used to bring the uh, chocolate milk for her grand uh, son, okay, or her granddaughter for the storyteller. Yeah. Yeah, it's possible to say true, but it's possible also to say false because uh, she brings it to the storyteller, not for her, not for herself. So I think false is better. False nine is false better. Ten, a granny knew what her child like uh, to eat. Yes, true, because she brought him or her what he uh, liked, and that is line. 73. The next exercise is finding uh, next and last in this lecture, finding meaning in context. Shall finding the meaning in context, you need to know to know how to guess the meaning of a, a new word or a difficult word from the text. من خلال إيش النص أو السياق الجملة. Context. Okay. اللي هو في عنا Uh, we have a word or words or idioms that are phrases that are underlined so we need to know their meanings مثلا there were three thick pillows on the sofa ok number one three pick, uh, thick pillows what does pillows mean ok chairs cloths rags or cushions cushions it's D cushions Two, a granny kept her things for cooking in her pantry. Pantry means what? A, B, C, D. It's C. Kitchen closet. اللي هو قلنا إيش عبارة عن غرفة أو خزانة صغيرة للمطبخ. Three, a granny kept her things for cooking. Things for cooking means what in her kitchen? 
things for cooking yani pots and pans silverware dishes and glasses cleaning supplies things for cooking لو ايش pots and pans الاشياء تستخدم للطبيخ for granny wanted her kitchen to sparkle sparkle means what wipe shine scrub ولا polish to what to shine b 4b 5 i washed the floor with a brush and pine scented water then شو معنى washed with a brush قلنا to wash with a brush تنظيف في الفرشاه له اسم خاص له ايش a b c d it's d له ايش to scrub او scrubbed 6 there was dust on the lower part of the window frame شو معنى lower part of the window frame اللي هو الجزء السفلي من الشباك اوكي لو ايش ويندو ولا ويندو سيل ولا ميرور ولا ويندو توب A B C D B is the right answer هو B اللي هو ويندو سيل 7 I didn't clean the stove شو معنى didn't clean the stove او didn't clean في شيء كان ما يعمله يعني to skip هل هي didn't clean A B C D اللي هو B اللي هو skip The next part of the exercise is not, you know, available here, but just for you to know. Number eight, I washed and polished all the knives, forks, and spoons. إيش معنى كلمة knives, forks, and spoons؟ في كلمة واحدة تعبر عنهم اللي إيش؟ A B C D اللي هو B اللي هو silverware. Nine, everything in the kitchen sparkled. What does sparkle mean? A B C D, of course, A shone. كلمة shine, shine, shone, shone. Nine, sorry, ten. A porch is always airy. إيش معنى كلمة airy? A B C D from air. هواء airy إذا اللي هو light and open. اللي هو لما تكون غرفة airy يعني من air اللي هو غرفة منورة وإيش مفتوحة يعني مهوى يا مزبوط. Okay. اللي هو إيش ten اللي هو A light and open. Okay. That's all for this lecture. today and then this is the end of lecture uh, six and see you soon in lecture number seven with the rest of unit three thank you very much bye